fact, we have nothing to worry about. According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months, four days, and seven hours. Its intensity will be three on the Bergman scale, which is Without going into detail, I must say I have never seen anything like this before. The encephalogram suggests serious damage to the nervous system, but the other indicators couldn't be better. It's... it's astounding. Perhaps it has something to do with the emission. Most certainly, although so far I've been utterly unable to formulate a rational explanation for this abnormality. He's making up. Welcome back to the world of the living, Stalker. How are you feeling? Do you remember what happened to you? <laughs> In the joking mood, eh? That bodes well for your recovery. I'm Lebedev, the group leader, and I'm responsible for everyone here. That includes you, for as long as you're here. We call ourselves Clear Sky, and you are in our base right now. We picked you up in the swamps after the emission. Lucky? Hmm. I doubt it. The facts are these. You survived the emission. That's the first thing I still can't explain. The second thing is that our patrol found you in the swamps, which are essentially endless quicksand. And thirdly, you nearly got torn into shreds by a pack of pseudodarks, but our boys got you out just in time. Such a chain of events tells me it's more than just luck. Anyway, I need to finish what I'm doing, so let's continue this conversation later. Welcome back from the afterworld. Hello, Mark. You became quite a legend while you were out of it. Even you wouldn't believe some of the rumors I've heard. <laughs> Anyways, here's a drink on the house for a lucky son of a gun. It should help you relax and tell me about your adventures. Because I'm just dying of curiosity. Well then. You drink and I'll tell you about this place. It used to be pretty quiet here. We had the paths worked out, the right places explored, and the approach covered. Of course, the swamps ain't exactly spring break material, but it wasn't too bad either. Yeah, it wasn't too bad until the last emission. The biggest we've ever seen. These days our boys pray both to God and the devil before going out of the base. Because getting back alive is a miracle in its own right. But we're managing to hold it together. We 
because our guys ain't here for loot. They're fighting for a cause. I was collecting bottles one after another, and they let me hear. <laughs> I'm kidding. The truth is, there was no place for me in that other world. They didn't want me. In the end, I came here. First to the zone, and then to Clear Sky. The guys here are all right, and I need it here. They come back here after a mission, I pour them a drink, tell a few dirty jokes, and my job is done. Simple, but effective. By the way, they call me Cold around here. In our base, as you can see, it's a small, sinking farmstead in the middle of romantic, endless swamps. I couldn't tell you where it is exactly, but it's the last place in the zone where you can meet real people. Guys who won't screw you, stab you in the back or let you bleed to death to save a med kit. You know why you've never heard of it? Because too many people want to know about it. And the fewer that do, the better. Lebedev is our leader. The man is a rock if ever I've seen one. He's the glue that holds our whole group together. Then there's Binpolev, Professor Binpolev. He's like a walking encyclopedia and a calculator in one. Knows more about the zone than, well, anyway. Our technician's called Gray, and he can make you a rifle out of an empty can with ammo to boot. He could use some spears, but uh, apart from that. And finally, we have Suslov. He's a traitor, but he ain't like the others of his train. He won't try to rip you off or screw you. He knows what stalkers go through to get their loot, and he respects that. Cold, leave the Merc alone with your dirty jokes. I need to see him. Well, brother. If Libedev says he needs to see you, that ain't up for a discussion. Go on, I'll catch you later. I'm glad to see you, young man. You look considerably better. People are mistaken in their belief that they understand the essence of what the Zone truly is. Some consider it to be a universal evil, others a wonder sent down to humanity, and others still consider it no more than a source of riches. They are all wrong. The Zone is impossible to understand when viewed through the prism of human perception. Moreover, it is far too early for humans to even try. Ergo, the actions of both the government and stalkers with respect to the Zone are misguided, and I fear that the potential consequences may be or, indeed, are completely unpredictable. Naturally, this represents a terrible danger. Young man, if only I had the answer to that question. We are studying the zone meticulously in hopes of finding it. The zone appeared as a result of the actions, let's call them misguided human actions, and we are unable to return to the status quo. The zone cannot be destroyed, nor will it disappear of its own accord. We, Clear Sky, believe that there is only one way to reconcile man with the zone. Coexistence. How can I best explain? Let's put it like this. Any complicated system in nature, and that includes the zone, automatically seeks equilibrium in the absence of destabilizing external factors. That was the case here in recent years. The zone was stable and there were no significant deviations from the norm. And now, now we've seen a gigantic emission that has changed the face of the zone. The system became unstable, distorted, a glitch of sorts. The zone is spewing out emission after emission and pumping itself full of energy with each one, so much so that the readings on my sensors oscillate with unbelievable speed. And unless we find a way of reversing this trend, the result will be a disaster of far greater proportions than the 1986 catastrophe. The most important lesson in all this is that this glitch is not a product of natural causes. This is human handiwork. And that's what we are attempting to find out. Perhaps knowing who disrupted the zone's equilibrium will give us a chance to prevent a disaster. Since man caused this mess in the first place, man may well be the only one able to set it right. In any event, I very much hope that is the case. I fear that question is not one I can answer. I suggest you address it to Lebedev.
got some fresh air. You look better, that's for sure. Let me fill you in on this situation. You're in the Clear Sky Base. Don't try to remember who we are. You've never heard of us, and there's a very good reason for that. Our mission is to research the zone. We believe that the zone must be studied and understood so that humanity knows what it is facing here. Understanding is the key to coexisting with the zone. Because if you think about it, the zone is the most wondrous phenomenon humanity has been confronted with in its entire history. As I said, we are researchers. We are trying to figure out the nature of the zone, determine the reasons which caused it to appear, and formulate the rules that govern its existence. We are not consumed by a quest for money. We don't seek fields of artifacts, and we're not interested in turf wars with other factions. That is why we're hiding here in the swamps and concentrating on our research. Our forte is not combat, but knowledge. Knowledge of the zone, accumulated over years of research. We know more about it than stalkers and the government combined. And our research was finally shaping up into a sound, coherent picture until the massive emission a few days ago. No, that emission was incredibly powerful. It was on a level of its own. It was like a hurricane that swept the whole zone, changing it. Everything is different. The well-known and relatively safe areas have become highly radioactive and full of anomalies. But now you can access parts of the zone that have been unreachable for years. Even the most hardened stalkers don't know what awaits them on their favorite path. The other thing that changed is people. And that became evident right away. The emission destroyed the fragile balance between factions, and they're now warring for territory. In other words, many strange things have happened, and I don't yet fully understand the scale of these changes. It's only been a few days since the emission. If you ask me, the strangest thing of all is that you managed to survive it. I see. How can I help you? Getting out of here isn't easy, not by a long shot. The swamps are a real maze of reeds and radioactive quicksand, swarming with terrible monsters and human scum. And I don't know which is worse. Only a guide can lead you safely out of here. We only have a handful of them. Guys I would trust with my life without a second thought. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because if I let you go, our presence here might not stay a secret for long. We are having a very tough time here recently. The emission reduced the number of anomalies in the swamps, which made the area easily accessible for bandits and other vermin. There are so many of them, they'll be setting up camp in our base soon if we don't do something about it. The problem is that we're not really the fighting type, so we've been steadily losing ground. But you, one look at you, tells me you're a pro in that sort of thing. Your experience can save the lives of many This is the second boys. outpost. We're under attack. I repeat, we're under attack. Help! That's enough chit-chat. There's been another attack on our outpost. Help us fight it off. If it makes any difference, some of the boys who saved you are there right now. You still remember how to survive in the zone? Great. Get over to the trader and he'll fit you out with some basic equipment. After that, Head straight to the outpost. Once you're outside the base, listen to my advice. I'll try to guide you along. Roger that. Hello there. At last. Here, take this basic equipment kit. It's designed specifically for patrol missions. I've been ordered to issue you some equipment. There's no time for questions. The boys need you now. What you need, stalker?
spot them easily enough. If you get close enough, your detector will indicate the location of the artifact, and then you just pick it up easy as pie. Keep in mind that your current detector isn't exactly top of the line. It only shows the distance to the artifact. You survived the emission again. I'm not even that surprised. Our boys picked you up not far from the tower when things calmed down a bit. You know, Bien Polev was right. You defy scientific explanation. He believes that you acquired some, let's say, unusual abilities, which help you survive anomalous activity that would literally tear anyone else down to atoms. Also, it looks like something is increasing your body's performance in several areas, to the point where our monitoring equipment goes off the scale. Vete, don't get too excited. There's always a fly in the ointment. Every emission harms your nervous system, and if this continues, you will die. A normal emission is the release of energy accumulated in the zone. A discharge, if you like. But what's happening now is completely different. In my opinion, the increasing regularity of these emissions is the zone's response to some sort of serious threat, akin to the response provided by a human immune system. It is difficult to rationally explain coexistence between humans and the zone. The zone tolerates us in some areas and forbids us from going to others. Whatever is beyond the scorcher and further towards the center of the zone is taboo, a place where stalkers are not supposed to set foot. I think that the recent events in the zone are related to the fact that someone broke that taboo and made it past the brain scorcher. It's hard to say. To answer that question, I would need to know what's in the center of the zone. Some say the monolith, others say the wish granter. The more unpretentious ones dream about fields of rare artifacts. I was at the power plant myself, a young specialist at the time, but I don't know what's there now. What I can say is that the Scorcher appeared for a reason. It prevents the center of the zone from being reached. People cannot go beyond the Brain Scorcher. I didn't think so until the large emission. Hell, nobody thought so. However, if you consider the emissions to be a defensive reaction, then the answer is obvious. Someone made it through the scorcher, and the emission was the zone's response. And since the emissions haven't stopped, whoever it was must still be alive. The zone is trying to get them, and it's killing everything that's alive in the process. I know a lot about the zone, but I can't share everything with you. 
You'll just have to trust me on some things. A system, any system, needs to be in equilibrium. The zone is unstable right now, and this instability is increasing. If the constant emissions aren't stopped, the zone will become so unstable that a new disaster will occur. Which brings us to what Clear Sky is doing. We are trying to prevent that disaster. You're right. But we do know how to prevent a disaster and stop the emissions. And that means something. We have to find out who was in the center of the zone and stop them at any price. There's a strange connection between you and the zone. On the one hand, every new emission gradually kills you. On the other hand, you survive in situations where others don't stand a chance. My gut feeling tells me that your abilities, your gift, your curse, call it what you will. They mean you can get through places that others wouldn't even dream of. And at the moment, we need to act very quickly. I knew you'd ask that. The answer is simple. If the emissions aren't stopped, your nervous system will burn out and you'll die. Help us and you'll save yourself. Now this may sound like a line from a corny movie, but you really don't have a choice. Unfortunately, yes. So, will you help us? Then listen carefully. We have made use of all our contacts and connections in the zone. As a result, we know that a certain stalker at the Kordon was asking Sidorovich about some very strange components. That's all we have for the moment. But it's a lead. Through these swamps, of course, how else? But remember what I said. After the emission, a whole army of all kinds of scum turned up in the area. Now they control almost everything. We are under siege, and I'm not exaggerating one bit. So before we can help you get to the Kordan, we have to regain control of the swamps. And with your help, I think we should be able to do it. Your main guide is the objective section. Your main objective is displayed here, together with a selected additional objective. There can be several additional objectives which you can cycle through using these buttons. Most objectives are also displayed on the map, with the exception of rare occasions when your objectives cannot be located. We will need your help with not only destroying the enemy, but also capturing key positions. In these situations, our fighters will be grateful if you provide covering fire as they capture a position. By the way, don't ignore calls for help. Our boys' lives could be at stake. Hovering over a mark on the map will display additional information. In addition to your objectives, friendly units and identified enemies will also be displayed on the map. Okay, as I'm sure you understand, our main objective is to establish control over the swamps. And that means a war against the aggressor. This section allows you to access tactical information about combat operations at any time. Information about your current faction is displayed on the left. Right now, that's us. Clear sky. Information about the main enemy is displayed on the right. This shows our approximate combat strength. This shows how many fighters we have. And this is our equipment supply. Similar indicators are also shown for our enemy. Finally, this field allows you to see the current strategic mission as well as tactical objectives that must be achieved in order to complete the strategic mission. Completed strategic missions will be displayed at the bottom. The last tab allows you to view your current relations with all factions as well as each faction's combat strength. Your personal stats are also displayed here. That's pretty much it.
Visitor? Oh, welcome, guest from foreign lands. What come you with? A bursting purse? A prized exotic wonders? Yeah, I heard your story. I reckon the main thing is that you're still alive. Stuff is easy enough to replace, as long as the zone is kind to you. So, you gonna trade, or you got some questions for me? That's the sort of people we are. You can't buy an extra 15 minutes of life, or a spare store from death. But us traders are needed everywhere, even in the zone, even in the swamps, and even underground. It's an illusion that the zone is under lock and key, and the army has all the ways in and out sealed. And think about it. Nowadays, artifacts and rare specimens from the zone can be found all over the world. And your fellow stalkers never have a shortage of canned meat, vodka, ammo, or equipment. Somebody's got to be responsible for all that, right? <laughs> well, that's where we come in. In this place, it ain't like selling bootleg CDs on the outside with the cops up your ass every damn day. Around here, the situation is very simple. The outside world has an interest in the zone and vice versa. But it's officially forbidden, prohibited, and all that bullshit. That's what we're here for. We make sure all those interests are satisfied and everybody's happy. There's a joke among traders that if someone points a gun at you, your best bet is to try to buy it off them. Uh, let's not talk about it. You have no idea how tired I am of peddling these trinkets. There's a ton of ordinary artifacts out there, but the best tidbits pass this place by. I haven't had a unique item in my store for ages. Uh, who knows? Maybe stalkers have already found everything there is to find. Man, getting behind the scorcher would be a dream. I heard you can get enough artifacts there to last your lifetime. Uh, provided your life doesn't end there, then. It's about time us traders joined forces and used our connections to find a way of getting past that thing. Yeah, I know. Anyway, listen, I told you too much as it is. Time is money. So if you want to trade, go ahead. If not, I'll see you around. Have a safe trip. Stalker, what do you want? We're in, so you can take your blindfold off. Don't you try to follow me, it won't work anyway. If you want to come back to the base, find one of the guys at the fishing camp. Mark, it looks like you're in the great swamps now. Be extremely careful and don't try to be a hero. Check out your PDA. You should find the location of our squads there. I suggest you get yourself over to the fishing hamlet. That's where they are. Base 
some time. We'll find a way to pay you back. That's a promise. Чеки брики в дамке. Не
Dislodge the enemy. Position captured. Over. Yo, boys, listen up. You ain't all dead over there, are you? Come on, get on the air already. Hey, brother, we ain't clear on what's going on. Where are you little shits hiding? <clears throat> Looks like our guys got lost. We gotta check it out and see what's up. <clears throat> ain't no thing. We'll get cracking on it.
Let's smoke him out with this. by our base sometime. We'll find a way to pay you back. That's a promise.
Заходи, сбоку заходи! Дрожой, пацаны! Отходим! We captured the we renegade captured slayer. The target location. All we need to do now is take control of the paths to the swamps. Thanks for helping out. Drop by our base sometime. We'll find a way to pay you back. That's a promise. Mark, help us fight these bandits! Where are you, little? We can't hold on much longer! Hurry, help us! Nice of you to come! They ain't gonna get a warm welcome now! Wait, let me use this! Воды, я 
You really turned it around. Your Speed reward will be wait. waiting for you at the base. We barely held them off! Again, want to trade? Drop in next time you're in our neck of the woods. What you need, stalker? Come by our base when you get a minute. We'll return the favor.
I'm all ears. Naya, nice to see you. So, shall we talk business? Hello, Merc. Tell me, what brings you here? Hmm, I see so many stalkers in here, it's a pain to remember them all. Any reason I should strain my brain for you? Now we're talking business, I like that. Well, here's the thing. I've been here for a while. My business is up and running, I get different orders here and there, and people trust me. I have a problem with my last order, and the trouble is the client is very important, and the loot he's after is unique. Everything was going fine. Stalkers would get the loot from inside the zone, and the army boys were supposed to ensure they could get it through the cordon. Well, the two parties started bickering over something, and now the whole place has gone crazy. The result is, the stalkers are fighting the military, and nobody's got a clue where the loot is. And that doesn't suit me at all, because the order needs to be completed. So, help me get the case with the loot, and I'll tell you all about your stalker and his components. Deal? Visit the stalkers by the embankment. They've set up some sort of base there, and that's where they're holding the captive military commander, Kalitsky. I don't care what you do at that base, I don't care if those fruitcakes want to continue playing Robin Hood's Merry Men, all I want is that case and the loot that's inside it. For starters, try talking to Valerian, the stalker leader. I'll let them know you're coming on my behalf. Hey, Mark, I'm... Don't forget, I still need that case.
Go see the leader, Stack. If you need anything else, come back. What can I do for you? Got something that needs fixing? What can I do for you? Howdy, Mark. We don't see too much of you at the cordon. What brings you here? From Sidorovich, you say? So, you know about the commander too? All right, I'll be straight with you. We used to cooperate with the army. They'd allow us to transport goods safely through the outpost and let us in on some useful information. We paid well for their services, but then we found out that jerk of a commander worked for both sides. He supplied the bandits with our whereabouts. Then he went and sold two of our guys as slaves at the garbage. That was the last straw. 
Yeah, I guess we got a little carried away. Can't figure out what to do now. We're holding the commander hostage, which is a kind of guarantee that the army is not going to bomb our asses back to the Stone Age with their choppers. We can't kill him, but we can't let him go either. This sly son of a bitch knows that we need him alive, and he's not caving in a damn inch. Trouble is, he's the only one who knows where the loot is hidden. If we don't deliver that loot to Sidorovich, he won't do business with us ever again. If we could only make this army best and play by our rules, it would be a whole different ball game, believe me. Just staring at ass face. Why all you want? If you're here to find out where I hid the case with the loot, you're in for a disappointment. Go back to your beloved zone. My boys are gonna obliterate your pathetic posse soon enough. And it's for your ringleader. We will hang him on the bridge so everyone can see what you get for messing with the military. charge for your service. Uh, what if I ask you to help out my boys by taking out those snipers at the railroad in there? Get lost and stay lost, nerd. Sorry if I don't have what you're looking for. So, did you learn anything useful? Of course they'll save him. The rat bastard owes them a whole bunch of dough. He ran their operations on his own and stashed the cash away somewhere. Listen, I've got an idea. The commander's got only two men he can count on. They served together at the outpost and he cut them in on the deals, so they'll do whatever they can to get him out. If we dispose of them, the bastard will realize nobody's coming for him. He'll crack and we'll beat out of him the location of the stash with the loot. We split the money and Sidorovich gets the case. What do you say? I have this feeling we won't have to look for them. Khaletsky's buddies are wandering around here somewhere planning to attack us. A small squad has been spotted at the elevator. Help us destroy them.
Enemy squad has been taken care of. We spotted their second squad at the depot. Merc, head on over there. We've taken the position! See what being stubborn gets you? Your friends are dead and you're still here. No one's coming to save you. Tell me where you hit the case. Okay, I tell you, bastards. It's in a house not far from here, in the attic. 
Would you look at that? The little shit cracked like an egg. <laughs> the stash coordinates are in your PDA. Take what you find to Sidorovich. He's waiting. to relax yet. Maybe it's over. This may not be over. And that's that. Don't break up, wait! I'm listening.
So you got it after all. I knew I could count on you. Thanks for returning the case, Merc. Now I can settle up with my client. The reason I've survived in the zone as long as I have is that I always keep my word. You screw a client in this place and you're pretty likely to find a knife in your back real soon. Anyway, enough about me. About your stalker, he was here. His name is Fang, and he was looking for tube amplifiers and some other electronic crap, and I'm not an expert in that sort of thing. I sold him the amp, but I didn't have the other stuff he was after, so I told him to visit the diggers at the garbage. Recently, some stalkers at the garbage have dug up old buried equipment from after the accident at the Chernobyl NPP, and now the place is filled with all kinds of ancient components. Look for him there. And remember, if you want to trade, I'm your man. If you need anything else, you're always welcome here. I'm extending you a lifetime store discount for helping me deal with the military. Good luck. a jerk holster your weapon. <laughs> I'm all ears. Come on, spill the beans. It's not that I mind, Valerian, but think about it. Your army is going to wonder why I sold weapons to stalkers. And you think about this, Vasily. If we don't put some heat on those army boys now, they're going to bleed us dry. All right, Valerian. Tomorrow my man is going to bring you everything I've got. Please 
saying we need to talk. Just put that gun away first. in the cache. He wouldn't stop swearing and said he wouldn't pay us until we found the other components. We discussed it between ourselves and decided to send Vasya to speak to him. Vasya is one silver tongue son of a gun. We figured he might be able to talk Fang into paying us at least some of the money. I just hope he doesn't run into trouble on the way there.
out. There's a shitload of dogs around here. Climb onto the rocks, quick! Go, stalkers! Take them down! Get away from me, you freaking flea bags! Hey now, peace out! Thanks, buddy. You saved me right there. My name is Vasian. Picture this. I'm on my way west, trying to catch up with this stalker, minding my own business and all, and these eyeless beasts come out of nowhere. I emptied three clips into the damn things, but they just kept on coming and chased me all the way to here. There's no way I'll catch that stalker now. He's got to be in the dark valley at this point. Holster your weapon and stand still. Try pulling a fast one and you're dead. Stand still, brother. This won't hurt. All right, stalker. Stay put. Who are you? And what are you doing here? He's probably dead already. And I suggest you don't hang around here too long, unless you want to join him. Someone keeps attacking us. They're real professional about it, too. We never stand a chance. We control all the roads leading into the Dark Valley, but that don't seem to stop the attacks one bit. The one place you can relax is the base. If you have questions about Fang, the Freedom Base is your best bet. What's your business here? Delta, this is Alpha. What was that shooting all about? What's going on over there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
is no funny business. Come see me if you have any questions. What's this? Your... What's this? Your backyard? Who let you in? How's it shaping up, Merc? Too many bombs around here. Oh, bro, I'll be... What will you be needing today?
Bam, bam, thank you, mercenary! What did you want to tell me? Welcome to my humble abode. Well, well, finally we meet face to face. My name is Chekhov, and I'm the boss around here. The recording on the PDA you found clears things up a bit. All the exits from the valley were sealed off, but our outposts and patrols just kept getting hit. A few times we had a patrol leave the base and get slaughtered in no time. 
The boys started thinking that we offended the zone somehow, and that this was some sort of punishment. We even tried putting together protection charms against ghosts and all, but as we now know, there was nothing mystical about it. The Commandant gave away all our movements. Freaking rat! I didn't expect him to do this. I've known him for ages. We hunted for our first artifacts together. We made freedom what it is today. I trusted him with all the operational planning, and he just went and sold us out. As soon as the outpost conversation was aired on our radio frequency, the Commandant vanished. He knew he was screwed. What we've got to do now is find him. He knows too much, if not everything. All the exits from the valley are secured, so he couldn't have gone too far. We're tracking his PDA. He's near the road to the cordon. A few of our squads are on their way over there. Yep, there was a stalker like that. Very interested in rare parts and the like. He must have known that we had the best team in the whole zone. I sold him the part he wanted, and why not? He paid well and didn't even haggle. What I don't know is what he wanted with it. These parts were only used in old army cryptographic machines. He left the base straight away, and nobody's seen him since. Yeah, I'll help you. If you help me, that is. Don't take it personally, but we're having a rough time. And if things don't change, Freedom won't have enough men to defend the base from bandit attacks. Help me find out who is attacking us, and I'll give you information about Fang. Find the Commandant and bring him to me, alive. Or dead. Do that, and I'll tell you where you can find Fang. I've uploaded the coordinates of the Commandant's PDA to yours. Good luck! Come back anytime! What's your business here? So, what did you want to tell me? Here's the sound of happiness for you!
Enjoy your good Are you here to shoot or to talk? partner thanks for your help after the shootout at the farmhouse we know that mercenaries are behind the attacks on freedom information from the commandant's pda also confirms this the question is why the hell are they doing it mercenaries have always stayed neutral and cooperated with all of the zone's factions i wonder who the client was for this little job perhaps it was duty or the army I've got more questions than answers right now, but I'll get to the bottom of this. You can bet on it. You've held up your end of the deal, and now I'll tell you about Fang. He was looking for rare components here, and I got real curious as to what he wanted with all that ancient crap. When I asked him directly, he told me to mind my own business. <laughs> it's too bad I'm not a quitting type. I asked one of our tech guys to hack into his PDA's frequency, and we were able to monitor him for a few days. It looks like he went to the garbage. I'd looked for him there. By the way, I made a note of his PDA frequency, and I've already uploaded it for you. His location is now marked on your PDA. Are you ready to help Freedom once again? We know a lot more, but the mercenaries keep attacking us, and we're down to our bare bones here. I still don't know how they're getting into the valley. We've got all the roads covered with our outposts. It looks like there's a tunnel here somewhere that we don't know about. That's how the mercenaries are getting into the dark valley. We need to find out where that hole is and blow it to bits. 
There's an old triangulator in the valley. It was built by geodesists back in Soviet times. The triangulator comprises three antennas. Once all three antennas are activated, you can monitor the surface of the whole valley. If it works, we'll be able to work out how the mercenaries are getting into the valley. One of those antennas is here in the base, but the other two were captured by mercenaries. Help us regain control over those antennas. What the hell? What's going on there? This right. ain't funny no more. Enough talking. I Let's get kidding. to work. Guys, what's happening? Squad, come in! Shit!
Make a big splash! <laughs> not Police not food. express when you delivery! your business here?
Come in. Come in, Stark. Thanks for your help. I sure as heck didn't expect it, because most people in the zone only care about themselves. I reckon we gave the mercs a good fight. The tunnel they used to get into the valley is out of action, but the boys are going to blow the whole place to bits to make sure not even a mouse can sneak into our valley without us knowing. There is still the issue of someone giving the mercs a contract to cause us problems, but I think we'll get to the client soon enough. Anyway, here is your reward. Do you want to earn the respect of fellow stalkers? Do you want to build a team of loyal friends who will stick up for you in times of trouble? Do you dream of kicking some duty ass? All this and many other opportunities await you if you join freedom. Good luck. Come back anytime. I ain't too good of hearing. Speak louder. Want some good old? Peace out, dude. Too bad we didn't roll a joint together. The zone is about stalker. Come, come. Uh, Let me teach you. Hey, hey buddy. Being Looking for a good deal, eh? Hey? Join the freedom faction. Mercantilism, schmerkentilism. So, what did you want to tell me? The zone is about stalkers, and being a stalker is about freedom.
this place is pretty damn good. Look at all these stalkers charging in here like flies to honey. I wonder what they're after. Nah, it's too bad that punk got away. Screw him. He dropped his shit. That's all that matters. Yeah, let's grab the best stuff and get the hell out of here. You still with us, Mark? Good, good. Fang's PDA is right next to you somewhere. Find it. Stop waving that gun, you got my attention. Look at that. Where's your equipment, boy? This is a dangerous place. You won't get far without a good suit and a decent weapon. Monsters have gotten pretty nasty lately, so we'll be grateful for any assistance you can give us in fighting the zone. If you want to make some cash, drop by the base and see the General. One of our squads is actually heading there right now. Stick with them and save yourself some trouble. Yes?
How's life? Please do tell. What can I do for you, stalker? Yes. Join the duty ranks. A grave responsibility lies on our shoulders. Need to talk? I'm listening. Go there, man. What do you need? I haven't seen many folks who'd be willing to go down there. Do you have any idea what you'll be up against in there? Shouldn't be too dangerous. <laughs> Things have really changed ever since we decided to block that one side tunnel. I guess we went overboard with explosives. The blow took down some of the walls and opened up ways to new caverns. A swarm of mutants came flooding out faster than you can say, bloodsucker. Many of our boys never made it back to the surface. I ordered to have all exits welded shut. That helped, but only for a little while. The mutants started digging holes and coming up from underground. By the time we block one hole, they'd already dig up another. It seems like they are driven by a single goal to finish us off at all costs. I'll help you get underground, but in return, I want favor. All right. The underground map shows a pump station which drains the groundwaters. If you turn off the pump and open the tank valve, the water will quickly flood the caves and the mutants should simmer down. Sergeant Chirsov, I'm sending a mercenary your way. He is going into the underground. Make sure he is able to reach the hole. General, did someone really sign up to go down into those pits? That is correct. Make sure he's got enough ammo. Yes, sir. Well, good luck to you. The sergeant will give you the necessary equipment and a few tips of his own. General I've already Vickers, sent you the lair's coordinates. A grave responsibility lies on our shoulders. If we do not protect the wall from the spawning zone, who will? Positions. Everyone, be at the ready. Your positions. Look around. Everyone, be at the ready.
They told me to stay away from the dog. Приложил его! Quiet, let's wait a little longer. All right, people, that's enough. And that's that. All right, people, that's enough. Get ready for action! Everyone spread out! Remember, everybody, fire on my command! What if I throw this baby out? If the bullet don't work, this will! Here's your birthday present! This will! Maybe it's over. Under control, location captured. If you got something to say, say it.
birthday present. I've got plenty to go around. Sample this for me. Don't be a jerk, holster your weapon! What do I owe the pleasure? Well, well, I seldom see a new face here. So, what would you like to know? Yes, he visited us. He knew a great deal, far more than others. <laughs> he even claimed to have been to the center of the zone. Naturally, I didn't really believe him, even though he showed me some photographs. We made a deal with him. He promised to conduct field testing on one of our promising experimental models, a Psi emission blocker. And we promised to give him the final version in return. Strelog believed that the blocker would help him get through the brain scorcher. We gave him the prototype, and he went into the factory. That was the last we saw of Strelog and the prototype. We received some data via our satellite, but the signal has been lost. It looks like Strelok was hit by a powerful emission at the factory. If Strelok is in the factory, getting inside without a Psi protection device is virtually impossible. We have been studying the Psi emissions originating from the factory for years. They have a pronounced pulse nature. When they are in their low phase, people go into the factory relatively safely. However, we are unable to predict when the next emission will take place, so going inside is like playing Russian roulette. If you decide to follow Strelok into the factory, you will most likely end up with your brains melted like most of the zombies around here. There is something which I may be able to do for you, however. Some time ago, I was contacted by a group of stalkers who managed to come out of the factory alive. They came across a technical documentation archive in one of the buildings. Those documents could shed light on what the factory contains and help us uncover the source of such powerful Psi emissions. Help me find those documents, and I'll help you get inside the factory. The group went missing in the northwestern part of the facility. That area is full of zombies. I cannot send any stalkers who are guarding the perimeter, seeing as we're barely holding out against the attacks as it is. The SOS signal coming from there is still active, so please try to get the stalkers out if they're still alive. It's the deserted factory. It draws stalkers like a magnet because it is one of the few buildings they haven't reached yet. They say very rare artifacts and valuable equipment can be found inside. So stalkers keep trying to get in, hoping to strike gold. The trouble is that it's like playing Russian roulette. The Psi field is extremely unstable. When it peaks, the emissions can melt a human brain in seconds. 
been giving us problems from the day this laboratory was set up. The walls are strong, but the howling and other racket from the outside is awfully disruptive. As you can imagine, carrying out research or even sleeping under these conditions is no easy task. On top of that, sometimes we have to leave the bunker to collect samples. We spent a long time considering this issue. Regardless of how much effort the military expended on clearing out the facility, zombies would always come back. It all became clear when a former assistant of mine, who went missing while taking measurements by the factory, was discovered among the zombies. It's the Psy Field. Everyone who is affected by it loses his mind and turns into a zombie. This happens as a result of irreversible damage to the higher functioning of the human brain. Ergo, these creatures cease being human. They have no cognitive abilities, and so their behavior is the result of whatever remains of their purely animal instincts. Please, come back sometime. Let's go! 
Получи-ка! Welcome to our humble science lab. Any luck? It's the deserted factory. It draws stalkers like a magnet because it is one of the few buildings they haven't reached yet. They say very rare artifacts and valuable equipment can be found inside. So stalkers keep trying to get in, hoping to strike gold. The trouble is that it's like playing Russian roulette. The sci field is extremely unstable. When it peaks, the emissions can melt a human brain in seconds. It's a shame about those young men. I truly hope their sacrifice was not in vain. Let's look at the documents. Very interesting. Some of my suspicions are proving accurate. No, this, this is positively interesting. Excellent. This provides answers to a multitude of questions. But we will need time to fully understand what is happening. In this instance, it would appear that we are dealing with a man-made device. These documents are a manual for the cooling system of that device, which is located in the underground part of the facility. <laughs> its power consumption is quite astounding. So, the picture is becoming clearer. It seems that these bursts of psi activity occur as a result of failure in the device's cooling system. If we could repair it, that would significantly reduce psi emission levels. I will need some time to consider this matter. So please proceed towards the facility and join Lefty and his group of stalkers. I should have more information for you while you're making your way there. Dearest Lefty, I have some new data. It appears that we should be able to stabilize the Psi emissions. A young man is on his way, so please wait for him and further instructions. Yes, Professor, awaiting your instructions.
Almost there. I repeat. Our objective is here. We need two of you with the valve and two of you with me. Mark, you get on the hangar roof and cover both squads. We are in the hangar, fixing the valve in position. Quit wasting time. We have the valve and ready to begin on your order. Oh, 
If I pull this baby out!
Stop waving that gun, you got my attention. Strolak's signal is gone, we lost him. He went towards the Scorcher. And from there it's not far to the center of the zone. For us though, trying to get through the Scorcher without the scientist prototype would be suicide. Our only hope of catching Strelak is to go through Limansk. I know of a tunnel that leads there, it starts just beyond the bridge. This is the only way of reaching the city. The bridge can only be lowered from the other side, but that's bandit territory. Shit. There must be a way of getting across. Maybe there's another road to the other shore. Well, if anyone can help us get to Limansk, it's Forrester. They say that old-timer can find safe roads to areas he's never been in. The old man's hut is on the edge of the Red Forest. Merc, find Forrester. It's time to go and be heroes! Aww, he was just about to take a nap. I should have just died at birth. people, that's enough. We've that taken again? the position. They told me to stay away from the zone. What? No, not again. Get 
are ready for action. Everyone spread out. Last initiative. Wait for my signal. <laughs> Don't be a jerk, holster your weapon! Soul. Well, hello. To what do I owe this pleasure? Imansk was lost for many years, and there are many good reasons for that. It would be best for all of us if it stays lost. What do you want with Limansk? You are not an ordinary man. The Zone has left a curious mark on you, and I don't know whether it's a blessing or a curse. The normal chain of events has been broken. The Zone is becoming increasingly unstable, and you are part of this process. I will help you. So I'm not sure it's the right thing to do. Getting into Lemansk is not easy. The shortest road to the city is the bridge, but it's been raised. However, and this came as a surprise to me, it is not the only road that leads there. Freedom and Yote raised the bridge right after the larger mission, yet the bandits appeared on the other shore a couple of days ago and captured the bridge. That means there is at least one other way of getting across. The large emission changed the zone a great deal. 
The safe and familiar paths have been covered by deadly anomalies, but new paths, unreachable for years, have appeared instead, and I doubt all of them have been found. Believe it or not, I occasionally receive fragments of radio transmissions on my PDA from somewhere near Limansk. That can only mean one thing. Stalkers have found new paths into Limansk, and they need help. Unfortunately, the signal is so weak, I can't make out much. My understanding is that stalkers have become trapped in looped space. Whichever way they go, they come back to where they started. If we could get them out, we'd find out how to get into Limansk. Go to the military warehouses. The signal should be better up on those hills. When you find something out, let me know, won't you? Don't forget an old man! Get that weapon holstered, man! to tell me.
gone off the rails. Can see the outlines of a town on the horizon. Our coordinates. 51, 10, 3, 1, 2. Is there anybody out there? Thanks, everybody. information. It seems I was right. The large emission that shook the zone was so powerful that it changed space itself. 
forcing it into a loop. Don't go all scientific on me, Professor. It's become looped. Whichever way you go, you end up at your original spot. As a result, after the omission, Starkers got trapped in space bubbles around Limansk, unable to get out. Well, we know quite a bit now. The mercenaries coordinates, PDA frequency, and now I have a better understanding of these bubbles. Well, actually I got stuck in the bubble myself a couple of days ago. At the time I didn't know it was a new anomaly. So I thought I was losing my marbles. The forest clearing seems really familiar, but wherever I go I can't find a way out. And then the zone itself gave me an artifact. It showed me the way out of the bubble. I called it Compass on my way home. I was mugged by the bandits. They spared me. An old man, but... They took the compass. Get me that artifact, and I'll think of a way to get the mercenaries out. The scum set up camp on the edge of the Red Forest. I've uploaded the coordinates to your PDA. Have a safe trip, son.
What brings you to my forest, young man? To what do I owe this pleasure? I'd lost all hope of ever seeing the compass again. Thank you. Give me a bit of time, and I'll find the way out of the bubble. Well, I do that. You'll need to find a way of getting information to the mercenaries. You're going to need a powerful transmitter for that. I heard there's one like that at the military warehouses. That's how they communicate with the outside world. It should be powerful enough to contact the mercenaries. I'll send you the coordinates you need once you find the transmitter. If they do everything right, they'll get out of the bubble and end up pretty close to the bridge in Tolimansk. They might even be able to pay the bandits at the bridge a visit. Hope to see you again.
and we're going to try to get out of the bubble. Okay, left here, 60 feet this way. Oh, dang, we're free! You hear me? We made it out of the anomaly. We are headed for Lemansk. You have bad day here. We are at the bridge, waiting for mercenaries to arrive from the direction of the bandit camp anytime soon. Come back to the bridge. We need you here. It's going to get pretty nasty here before long. They should shut him up.
What brings you here? Слышь, сталкер, я, между прочим, еще помню, как ты сам выкобенивался. То не сделаю, это не буду. Я человек, а не крыса подобная. Вот это знатно, чувак. Ничего, ничего. Подумал, ты говоришь. Ладно, вот. The Shi squad is approaching. Our job is to cover them so they can get through to the bridge. Take up a position on the second floor of the tower and get ready. Attention! 
Внимание! Чужой! Thank you. 
Thank the Merc. If it weren't for him, we'd be stuck in that bubble trap forever. Either way, I owe you. I'll keep that in mind. Good luck to you. That's a deal. Clear sky fighters. We have completed a brilliant operation. The bridge has been lowered, and the road to Limansk is now open. Advance squad. Move out into fly. Limansk and find a safe path to the city. Everyone else, hold the bridge and wait for the main squad. Let's go and check it out. I can tell you about the bandits' ambush. Spill the beans and we might spare your life. Give me a med kit for my partner. You'll have to do without. You have one minute. Tell me where the ambush is or I'll shoot you like a dog. Give me a medkit! Thanks for the medkit, Merc. Лежи, лежи, щатя подлотаю. The ambush is really close. Here, let me mark it on your PDA. You may live. But don't let me catch sight of you ever again! A mess, I mean. There's a real street war going on here. There's an MG nest on the balcony of the building to the left. They're not holding back up there. We're totally pinned. If we can take out the machine gunner, we'll be able to keep going. I'll draw his attention, and you head into the building and deal with that MG. Go on my signal. Go, Mark, go!
Down and wait.
Damn it! How many are there? They're coming from all directions! Murk, keep moving towards the canal! We'll hold the enemy! Внимание! Вот!
couldn't have picked a better time to show up, Merc. We're stuck here in a terrible position. The enemy is in the building across the canal, and we're sitting ducks here. Lebedev ordered us to take the bridge. We need to clear and secure that building, whatever it takes. The enemy is in the building on the other side. We're sitting ducks here. There's no point in attempting an attack. We'll just die for nothing. Squad, cover the Merc! Fire! Нет. Я пошел, прикрывай!
The exit from Limansk is very close, but we need to stay alert and proceed with caution. Speed up! Sniper in the tower! Take cover! Bastards have put up a fence and even got power running through it. The town has no electricity supply. That means there must be a generator around here somewhere supplying that fence with power. The cables lead into the building to the right. Merc, we'll distract a sniper so you can get inside the institute building and shut down that generator. Гранату! Yeah. 
Thank God someone responded. Listen, there's a sniper and a machine gunner on the other side of the hall. We can't even make a move. Cover me. Do not try to take them off. Shit, another one lost his cool. Mark, help us to take out that sniper before we all die here. We'll distract the machine gunner so you can make a run for it. On my command.
LMG is down. The way is clear. Come on, we'll hold the enemy. Oh, uh, uh,
Glad to see you, man. We've done the impossible. We fought our way into the very center of the zone, to the power plant, and mostly to the... Petrenko, get a scan of Strelak's PDA frequency. Commander, Strelak is very close. Lebedev, this is the recon squad. We got a visual on Strelak. Mark. Climb onto the heat pipeline and intercept Stralak. We'll cover you from the ground. Mark, here's an electromagnetic gun prototype. It will let you disable Stralak's style protection and help stop him. Without protection, Stralak won't last long under the emission. Even our own suits can barely neutralize the field. Get up close to Stralak and cut off his side protection. Glad to see you, man. We've done the impossible. We fought our way into the very center of the zone, to the power plant, and mostly...
Petrenko, get a scan of Strelak's PDA frequency. Commander, Strelak is very close. Levitev, this is the recon squad. We got a visual on Strelak. Merc, climb onto the heat pipeline and intercept Strelak. We're coming up from the ground. Merc, here's an electromagnetic gun prototype. It will let you disable Strelak's side protection and help stop him. Without protection, Strelak won't last long under the emission. Even our own suits can barely neutralize the field. Get up close to Strelak and cut off his side protection.
тебе гранату! Anything like this? 